In 1960, the U-2 High Altitude Strategic Reconnaissance Aircraft of the U.S. Air Force Strategic Air Force Command was shot down by the Soviet Army, and the pilot Gary Bowers was captured and caused a large wave between the United States and the Soviet Union and promoted the subsequent first time. The U.S.-Soviet Publicly Captured Intelligence Personnel Exchange Later, it was filmed by Americans into a movie, Tom Hanks' Bridge of Spy. But as early as 1956, the CIA and the U.S. Air Force believed that within two years, the development of Soviet air defense systems and interceptors would make U-2's behavior of crossing the Soviet Union's airspace no longer safe because strategic reconnaissance projects directly came from pearls directly from pearls. The heavy lesson of Hong Kong's sneak attack, the U.S military believes that it must master the movement of the Soviet military deployment to prevent the Soviet army from suddenly launching attacks. Therefore, the Rainbow Plan led by the CIA is promoted. The comprehensive plan of the radar reflection section includes several technical branches using RAM, radar suction coating, and an electromagnetic wire interference with reflection, but the plan failed soon. At the same time, the success of the Soviet space program panicked the American aerospace industry. Considering that the Rainbow Plan has failed, the two important plans in strategic reconnaissance projects are almost at the same time the KH series I lock satellite and A-12 strategic reconnaissance aircraft. The latter is State Route 71. For State Route 71, most people's deepest impression must be a certain level in COD-7. But in fact, the State Route 71 undertakes the same strategic reconnaissance tasks as satellites. Not the tactical reconnaissance mission in the game this also laid a foreshadowing for State Route 71 to launch the satellite elimination. As a double three strategic reconnaissance aircraft, although State Route 71 designed a strategic reconnaissance to replace the U-2 flying over the Soviet Union's leadership, State Route 71 never flew over the Soviet airspace throughout the life. It's only a few times for the Soviet reconnaissance mission was a test of the Soviet Union's leading border. Among them, the State Route 71 was almost shot down by the Soviet Army due to mechanical failure. By the 1980s, the MiG-31 of the Soviet Air Force and even the Swedish Air Force's JA-37 could use special tactics to lock State Route 71 with fire control radar. State Route 71 gradually changed from optical-slash-radar reconnaissance aircraft to electronic intelligence reconnaissance aircraft, and was subsequently replaced by EP-3, RC-135 and reconnaissance satellites. Almost at the same time, the Soviet aviation industry also proposed Chibin RS and Chibin 2 RS strategic reconnaissance aircraft for reconnaissance. You can see that these two planes are similar to State Route 71. High-speed strategic reconnaissance aircraft and bomber often do not distinguish. Before intercontinental missiles were served, high-speed aircraft flying over the North Pole were usually the confidants of the United States and the Soviet Union the American XB-70 and A-12. The Soviet subsequent T-4 projects. In such a case, the Soviet ministers' meeting quickly passed the plan to develop such air defense systems to intercept such aircraft. This is the S-200s. It can be seen from the S-200 tactical and technical task book that the Soviet Army requested that it could intercept aircraft with a height of 5 to 35 kilometers and a maximum speed of 3,500 kilometers per hour, that is, 3,500 kilometers per hour, that is, aircraft above 3 Mach. Whether this indicator has obtained the technical intelligence of State Route 71, or based on the influence of Chibin RS and T-4 aircraft, it is unknown now. After S-200 served, State Route 71 regarded it as a major confidant. The Pacific mission mentioned earlier is the action of State Route 71 collected S-200 air defense system radar signal features although the State Route 71 Wolf with mechanical failure is very very shot down by the Soviet Army, it was finally successfully collected to the place need signal features. After the State Route 71 invaded China's airspace many times, the PLA also started the development of the Red Flag 3, Red Flag 4, J9, and Number 3 tasks. Among them, the Red Flag 4 finally paid to the Red Flag 5 responsible for the low altitude, becoming the predecessor of the Red Flag 9. 
The J9 technical indicators were changed from remote nursing machines to high-altitude and high-speed interceptors in 1971, which is precisely because of the existence of State Route 71 and the D-21 unmanned reconnaissance aircraft based on it. And the more mysterious number 3 task. Part of its results incorporated into the later Chinese empty aircraft project. The State Route 71 finally retired in 1989 and the second retirement in 1997. The descendant State Route 72, and the Dawn Goddess, who always in the fog, undertake the task of this once mysterious aircraft and continue to think of various aviation enthusiasts. The Lockheed Blackbird Strategic Reconnaissance Aircraft Global Secret Action published by Huazhou University of Science and Technology Press was translated from Paul Crickmore. The confidentiality information, so this book can be regarded as the absolute authority in the field of State Route 71 strategic reconnaissance machine research.